Hello YouTubers, this is about uh, patchwork, patchwork sat nav. Um, I've had this for a couple of seasons now and it's only a cheap, well not cheap but I suppose a thousand quid or something like that, it isn't very cheap I suppose. But um, I'm on a stock farm here and you, when you tend to lose the stock off and you tend to put your different lime or whatever or fertilizer down. Um, you get lost really at the start because there's not much grass yet. So I bought this and it's quite a good little system. Now you've got the the field that you've done there, quite a lot of things in here. If you only use a couple, that is the on and off, so it puts that green mark on there. So if you do some fertilizer spreading in this field, it covers all where you've been. So you go up you can go up and down the field a few times, you run out of fertilizer, press that to off. And then that will show you where to start again then. Um, as I'm going into the field you know that's as if you're going straight down the field there and if you see the this red mark in the middle that's the middle of the tractor. So when I'm going down the field you know what I'll do is I'll press this screen once like that and that'll put in the point I'm in now. I'll drive to the end down to the bottom down there and it's only a small field and I'll press the button, press the screen in the middle again and then there'll be a line that'll go straight up the screen and it'll divide the whole field into that straight length then and uh, to the, the width that I set it at which I won't go through on here now but um, so I'll go down to the end of the field I'll press the button again and you'll see I'll show you what I mean then okay I finished that field as you can see it's not a very big field uh, there's a bit more grass in here, you don't actually need it today, but this is just to show you what I mean. If you look down there, that's where the tracks are, I've set it to 12 metres or something like that, I forget whatever it is. And um, I did, I pressed the thing and it got a straight line there, and as soon as you move across, another line appears. Now this is what's happened on here. I've done the rest of the field and I actually moved the lines going that way. Uh, going that way for this little bit. but. That next line I was talking about, if you can see there, that line, well, because I'm turning that way now, the machine has got that line, the next line again, just as I'm coming up to it. So uh, it's pretty handy, and there is a little field I just done, covered in green luck. So um, it is bloody very handy. Uh, the only thing I have noticed with it, the lines themselves are very accurate, but it's a job to drive that accurate. So what I tend to do is, when the fi say for instance that there is where you've just been and you're going there, just follow that green mark, the width of your thing, and keep it to there. Sometimes ignoring the line and you'll get the whole field done, by because it's, it's pretty accurate with the actual green bit it puts down. So even though you're not level with the lines, you can still follow it okay. It, uh, up there is the dots to keep it in the center. I've got to be honest, I don't hardly bother to use that. I just basically look here and after a while you'll get, it sounds a bit daft, but you'll, you'll get to the point where you won't be trying to overcompensate all the time. You'll, you'll look at the screen and you'll look at the green bit is covering more than the line, if you see what I mean, and you won't miss anything then. So if you can manage to get the first one in re reasonably accurate, uh, you can carry on then. It's a, it's a very good thing for what I want anyway. Perhaps not accurate enough for other things, but it's not far off. Um, you can have an upgrade on this and let's see there's the acreage there. And sorry, Hector's covered and very good it is. So there you go, over and out.